Our growth point teaching today takes us to Ezekiel chapter 36, verse number 26, and it reads as follows. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. This verse speaks of what God is going to remove from us and what God is going to give us. God promises to give us a new heart, just as God promised to uh, restore Israel, not only physically but also spiritually. And just as this uh, restoration involved giving them a new heart that is as tender as, as flesh so that they will respond to God's Word, so God gives us a new heart that responds to His Word, responds to His call. God put His Holy Spirit uh, in them, and God also puts His Holy Spirit in us. And, and this work that takes place uh, encompasses the new covenant that is established by Jesus. So apart from God's Spirit, apart from the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, it is impossible for us to live a true life and follow God's ways. And it is essential that you and I remain open to the voice and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So as we desire for God to put within us a, a new heart and, and give us a, the ability to be able to hear what the Spirit is saying to us, may we, may we do our best to remain pliable in the hands of God. May we allow Him to shape us, mold us, and make us into what He wants us to become. Let's pray. God, we thank You for the truth that You want to give us a, a new heart. A, a heart that desires to follow after you. I ask God that we would be sensitive to the leading and the guiding of your Holy Spirit. And as you work in us and through us, may we advance your kingdom here on earth for your honor and your glory. I pray this prayer of blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Because of you, Jesus and the hope of heaven. We believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.